Hey, Data Factory fans. Today I'm going to talk to you about two pipeline patterns that you can build using the custom event trigger in Azure Data Factory and Azure Synapse Analytics. So the custom event trigger will essentially let you listen for messages using Event Grid, and then your Data Factory pipelines can execute when the message is received. So what I did was I took this very simple, normal looking pipeline, which is copying some data, transforming data. And then at the end of the process, I'm going to signal that I'm complete. I'm using a signal with a web activity. In this web activity, I'm going to inject a message into Event Grid, a custom event that I set up. So I went over to Event Grid and I created a new event that I called Pipeline Complete. And I'm using Event Hub to listen for those messages. Now, when a message is received through this custom events, then Data Factory can listen for that and can execute your next pipeline. So it's a way to set up a, a chain of pipelines. So this pipeline here would probably be set from a scheduled trigger, uh, which would be add trigger new, and then I would pick new schedule. So I'd probably set up some kind of a schedule, daily, hourly, every 15 minutes, whatever it is. And then at the end, when it's done, it will signal complete, which means now the next pipeline in the process can then pick up from there. So to then have another pipeline um, execute when this one is done, what I did was I created this pipeline over here that is simply my um, taxi medallion demo with a couple of data flows in it. And you see the trigger that's attached to this is a custom event trigger. And so in this custom event trigger, I am using that event grid topic that I created and it's called pipeline completed. So it's going to listen for that value and for those messages. And when they arrive, then this pipeline will be triggered. So first, let me kick it off. Then I'll show you about how to set up the message and to inject the message into that topic. So back on the signal pipeline, let's go ahead and debug this. I can run this from debug. So instead of waiting for a schedule to occur, I'm just going to go ahead and essentially hit F5 here in the browser UI. And I'm going to execute this pipeline. While it's going through its steps, let me show you what I did in the um, signal complete in the web activity. So I'm setting up my SAS key to be able to post my message to my event. Um, I'm using the URL coming from Event Grid, and then I'm setting the body, which is going to have the message contents, an ID, and a timestamp on it. I set that all up through, an, through a variable, and the reason why I did that was because I wanted to um, sets the uh, this my ID variable with a random number for the ID so that it always has a different ID. Now I'm just using a random number, so I may have some collisions here, but it's just for a demo, okay? So here I'm setting my message that I'm going to inject into the event grid as the ID with a number. The event type is pipeline completed, right? That's the important part, so I can pick that up. Subject, I just call this pipeline. The event time, I just have that hard coded. Uh, when you use this in production, you probably want to have your message have a little bit more. A meaning to it, and that's the status complete with the data version. So I just filled out you know, a lot of the um, events um, properties in there. You can you know, set those based on your uh, message requirements. But the bottom line to this is when I send in this pipeline completed message, that's going to then signal to that taxi pipeline, which is listening on that custom event trigger to execute pipeline completed. Okay. So let's see where we're at in terms of running this from the debug. So that was my signal pipeline. It looks like it completely succeeded. So what that should do now, if I go over to my monitoring, we should see that it has kicked off taxi pipeline. Okay, so what that means is I ran this pipeline that at the end sends a message saying I'm done, I'm, the pipeline is completed, and then that kicks off this pipeline next because it's listening for that message. That's setting up a, essentially a trio dependency and chaining within your pipelines using the custom event trigger within Data Factory and Synapse. Now, one other pattern I want to show you to use to take uh, advantage of this feature is I made a file watcher. So what this file watcher, watcher does is it's going to look for a folder of files to be dropped in uh, and have files arrive. But I don't want this to always kick off the pipeline when just a file arrives. Instead, I want it to only be true when the number of files in the folder is greater than four. So I said greater than four using that get metadata activity 
in the number of child items, essentially the number of files in that folder is greater than four. If you want this to be active all the time, you'd run this on a this with a very small interval. So you'd have a trigger on this one, then maybe this runs every five minutes. So you'd say new schedule trigger, and maybe run this every five minutes. And this will always check to see if there are uh, more than four files in that folder. When there are, then this is true, it will then use the exact same technique I had before of using a random number for the new ID of another message to send into the signal complete. This will again send another signal complete. So let me show you what that would look like. Okay, so this is the folder I'm going to watch with my file watcher. Get metadata is going to look in this folder and look for the number of files in the facts folder. So there's only one right there, so it's not greater than four. So when I run this, I'm gonna run again from debug. This will complete, this will do a quick get metadata and a quick if on that metadata to look for more than four files. It should come right back and you'll see that it does not meet the true. So the true condition, which is the activity that um, signals that the pipeline is complete does not run. Okay, so that succeeded. Now let's go ahead and put some more files in there. Okay, so we now have more than four, file, four files in that folder. So if we go back and we run this file watcher pipeline again. Okay, so now the get metadata did find in the if condition more than four files, which means it's going to set that JSON string for the event message. The web activity is going to fire and inject that message. And then the trigger on my taxi pipeline should pick it up and kick it off again. So two very interesting patterns that you can build for triggering your pipeline using the custom event trigger. Thanks a lot for watching.